Hello, Sim here. So can you believe it? it's almost been five weeks since I posted my last video? Yes. <laughs> so I took a little bit of a break. I needed to recharge my batteries, but obviously I didn't realize how uh, low my batteries were until I fell ill a week or two ago. Fantastic. <laughs> anyway, so I'm back on air and infinite warfare. It's so easy to say infinity warfare ah oh, i mean ah oh, it, it's it's frustrating as hell yes that sums up this game really sometimes it plays well and other times it doesn't it seems to be such an inconsistent game of how it plays and yeah let's face it this particular iteration of the call of duty has not done well we all know that and you have to sort of feel a little bit sorry for the developers who work their asses off at Infinity Ward to go and produce a game to then get slammed, you know, because of decisions made by higher powers, you know, higher leadership within Infinity Ward themselves, Activision, etc, etc. Decisions that are beyond their control, they're just, they just produce what they're told to produce. And when scheduling goes wrong, well, that's down to what we'd call as uh, project managers and uh, architects and stuff for the actual software. So yeah anyway let's not quite go into that so it's hard as a youtuber to to make videos about a game that's just not appealing in like 99 percent of the time i mean black ops 3 came out it was great cool fun i can have fun again all the fun was back and stuff until they ruined it with supply drops and stuff you know but that's an activision thing not a treyarch thing um and obviously uh, you know, Treyarch tried to avoid it, but Activision said, no, we're going to push this down our throats of our customers. <laughs> we want to milk them for everything they've got. Anyway, that's a topic for another video. Call of Duty has always prided itself on being a 60 frames per second shooter. Always guaranteed to get that 60 frames a second solid on consoles and obviously on PC, you know, you can get higher than that. But that's what they prided themselves on you know i remember the big launch campaigns back i think it was ghosts and they were saying 60 frames a second and then of course they had the uh, famous pop artist that i can't even think of who does the rapping oh uh emanate um or eminem or whatever the heck um, i'm so so bad with pop and all the rest of it but you know what i'm talking about so back then it was all nice and hyped and everything else 60 frames a second great but what about your net code are you going to be updating our positions in the game world at 60 frames a second, i.e. 60 hertz? Because when we're in a jetpacks and wall running and all this jazz advanced movement system that you keep banging on about, our position in the world should be updated at high rate too because it's faster movement. But no, it wasn't. Back in the launch days, it was 10 to 20 hertz. 10 hertz, I believe, update from clients and 20 hertz from servers. Terrible. It needs to be at 60 hertz. Battlefield has been doing higher tick rates as it's known in the Battlefield universe for ages. And uh, with Battlefield 4, they introduced 60 hertz uh, servers as, you know, because they obviously realized it needed to be higher too. So it, it's frustrating, it really is. I mean, we're five months down the line and multiplayer now is just about finished in the sense of where it should have been at launch. So they were five months behind schedule, you know, because they've got probably a separate team who did the map packs, right? So you've got the, the developers who are fixing the code and blah de blah de blah In the background, we've got some noir gameplay. Uh, it's an 18KD gameplay from memory. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to cut the video up. It's, it may be extremely slow paced because I'm traditionally a, um, a rusher, but I need to slow it down uh to to get myself towards that nuclear that I, i'm really after uh, so i can get a deatomizer strike and stuff obviously i have plans to do other videos techie videos and uh, gaming accessory videos i've probably got some um, infinity ward or infinite warfare gameplay videos that i want to do too but i'm not quite sure whether i'm going to stick with infinity Oh, infinity and infinite it's so oh every i think every single youtuber i've heard ever always gets mixed up with those i mean why did they choose that name but hey anyway 
So am I going to stick doing Call of Duty Infinite Warfare for the rest of the year until the next, uh, next Call of Duty arrives? I don't know. Um, perhaps I should do some more Modern Warfare Remastered. I've hardly touched that game post-launch. Um, obviously I've got Titanfall that is, I would like to go and play uh, some more of. And I still got Battlefield 1 that I haven't unwrapped from a digital cellophane point of view because it was a digital download. I still haven't unwrapped it and played it. So let me know what you guys want to see as well from a gameplay perspective, uh, whether you want to see Modern Warfare Remastered, some Black Ops 3. I still want to do some uh, montages and stuff because I've got some sweet clips from uh, both the recent CODs for sure. So let me know in the comments below. As always, I appreciate a thumbs up. And until next time, this has been Sim.